In this Barbawi tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can send SMS notifications from your Bubble app, and I'll be using a third party service called ClickSend. ClickSend is an excellent alternative to Twilio, which is perhaps the most well known um, SMS and you know, does all sorts of uh, communication platforms, phone, WhatsApp, etc. Um, anyway, I like using ClickSend because uh, I think Twilio uh, can be a little bit confusing. Like, there are just, you can send an SMS 10 different ways through uh, Twilio, whereas ClickSend keeps it simple, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to use ClickSend in this tutorial. Um, so to begin with, I'm going to go into the ClickSend um, API documentation and look at SMS and begin building, copying this code sample into my Bubble app. So I'm in the API connector in my Bubble app and I'm adding a new API, uh, call this ClickSend. And uh, if I look back at the API documentation, I can see that in my header I have authorization and I have content type. So uh, let's add a shared header for content type uh, and be careful with reformatting this. It's meant to look like that. Um, and then the authorization, I'm gonna use Bubble's uh, private key in header and we can see it says key name is authorization and that matches exactly what's expected there. I'm gonna come on to, uh, as it might be a little bit different to what you're used to, uh, this is not your API key. I'm going to explain that in a moment. But first of all, let's build in the um, the message or that's going to be sent in the body of the call. So um, this is an action because I'm going to trigger it, trigger it with a workflow. Uh, it's going to be post. Here is the body um, and it's providing me with the ability to send two SMS notifications. So making sure my JSON syntax is all correct. Uh, I've just removed one there. Um, if you look at the documentation, and this is all part of um, the journey of being able to read it and understand it and interpret it, you can see here that there are all these different properties that um, I can uh, include in my call and including this source one, uh, but I don't need to because it's not required. So, um, and it's mainly basically for internal tracking and debugging of your app. If you were running multiple different applications through the same ClickSend account, it helps to separate them out. Um, I'm just gonna change this uh, to, in fact, I'll, I'll start making it dynamic now. Um, so this is a message uh, and then I click um, untick private so that I can access it in a workflow uh, and um, I'm going to leave the recipient as it currently is because it is one of um, ClickSend's um, go into introduction oh, no, testing. Uh, you can see here that they provide you with a number of numbers that you can uh, test your API integration with without it having to be deducted from your credits. Um, so I'm going to leave that as that. And it, I can still test it. I can still see if I get a uh, success um, response back from ClickSend knowing that I've set all of this up correctly. Um, let's go back to SMS because there's one bit of data I'm missing, which is the endpoint or the URL. So copy that, paste it into there. Uh, okay, so uh, authorization. Um, so if I go into my uh, ClickSend dashboard uh, and I'm going to be regenerating these as soon as I've recorded the video, um, I've clicked on the key icon up here and you can see that I have a username and an API key. Um, if I go into the, back into the API documentation uh, and then go on to authentication, it explains to me that the header should include uh, the API username and the API key. And then it explains how to express that. So it's saying put them one after another with a colon in the middle and then encode that in base64. So let's, let me show you how to do that. Uh, PNC hyphen test. So I can go over to here and I would put PNC hyphen test. This is just a website that I found by Googling uh, base64 encode. Um, and then the uh, API key copy that, paste it in, and then encode. Okay, and this jumble of uh, letters and numbers is what ClickSend wants me to enter into the key value. Don't forget, uh, if we go back down to SMS, I have to put the word basic in front of it. 
the next room at the start, basic, and a space. Okay, let me just have a quick check of everything there. Uh, oh, I need to include a message, so I'll just call this test, and then initialize call. And you can see there that I've got a response of 200. That means that it is a success. There's been no errors in the way that I've set this up. Um, and I'm getting uh, all of this data back about the SMS that I uh, had sent. So that's how to set it up in the API connector. I'm going to really quickly show you how you would put that into a page. Um, so we'll call this SMS. And uh, then uh, if I go for a multi-line input and a button, and this is not going to be very neat at all. Um, so my button is going to send an SMS notification. Um, in fact, let's let's just do this a bit more thoroughly. Um, I'm going to change this to uh, recipient recipient. Make sure they're both unticked. I'm going to put back in the test number as I want that to be the default number that's used. Uh, I'll also write test in there. And you'll see how that populates through into my workflow editor. Um, so uh, plugins, uh, click send API call. Um, that is named such because of the name here. So it would make more sense if I change this to uh, send SMS. Okay, and it's and bubbles updated it for me. Uh, so I'm leaving that the same and I'm changing this to my uh, input. And then if I preview that. Testing. And click the button. My API call is now going through and it's been sent to click send. And I can verify that by going into my click send account under SMS, going to history, and I can see there uh, the messages I have sent again to their test number. So I've not been charged for it, but the um, the API returns a success response indicating that everything is set up as it should be. Uh, so there we have it. That is how to send an SMS notification with ClickSend. I might well do a follow-up video um, about how to receive uh, a reply to an SMS. Uh, leave a comment below if you'd like to see that. Uh, also, uh, if you want to sign up for ClickSend, uh, if you would like to use our link, that would be great as it's an affiliate link. And so we get uh, we, you know, we get a little bit back for having sent you to ClickSend rather than uh, recommending Twilio to you.